There are two ways to identify your past lives. There are, and we're going to talk about it right here and right now. So just imagine. Imagine if you held everything you ever wanted to know about your past lives within the palm of your hands. Imagine that everything you ever wanted to know about your fate, about your love life, about money was all within arm's reach. It absolutely is. And that's what we're also gonna talk about in this video right here. Uh, by the way, my name is Will Harris. And if you want a past life reading yourself, then feel free to take a look at the descriptions down below and we will make that happen. For right here and right now, we're gonna talk about the two ways you can identify yourself, okay? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. Do just put the love out, all right? Good karma. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the four ways that past life regression is useful. I mean, why even talk about this stuff if you can't use it to the utmost? So as we go through these two ways of identifying your past lives, I also, I also want you to know how this thing is a benefit to you because what brought you to this video, you may find out, you just may find out that there's even additional reasons for you to get into this so that you can make your life better than it is right now or, or make the life of somebody else better than it is right now. So the four reasons that past life regression is useful. Here's number one, talent, talent. When you're able to identify a past life that you had a particular superpower in, well, guess what? You still have that superpower, even in this life. It's just a matter of being able to tap in and find out what that is so that you can bring that into your present and advance everything from your money to your friendships to just the way you enjoy life. The second reason why past life regression is the bomb diggity is because of phobias. If there's something that you have a fear of that's unexplainable, and you know what, this could be a, a fear of even moving forward towards your goals. It could be tied to something that you had in your past life and being able to identify it and then rectify it. Woo! That's what this is all about. Now, the third reason why past life regression is definitely important is faster karma. Faster karma. When you're able to realize what you went through in the past and why in this life, in this life, you're going through the challenges that you are. Like I am just a really great, nice person. <laughs> why doesn't everything go my way? Well, maybe because you have to work through some of your past karma. And if you're able to identify that now because of this video, then guess what? Your whole life can change in the blink of an eye. So speeding up your karma, that is the other reason why past life regression can be helpful. And then here's the fourth one, to live life fully. <laughs> to be able to live life fully and fully know what's going on. If you are aware that you have lived before, number one, it makes it so that when it's time for us to transition, to go to the next level, to die, you're not as scared, but also so that you can fully tap in to everything that you're meant to be. And you can find that out based on the lives that you have already led. So let's jump in. And the foundation, Okay, the foundation of being able to understand past lives. Okay, there's two ways that I told you about that we're about to go over. The foundation of that is reincarnation. It's impossible, impossible to truly understand and find out your past lives unless you're rooted and truly believe in reincarnation. And to keep it real with you, I grew up. Christian. So it was like JC all the way or nothing, baby. But if you would have asked me in the 20s, my 20s, if I believed in reincarnation, I'd be like, what? No. What you talking about, Willis? Uh-uh. There is no way that reincarnation exists. And now, now I believe there's no way I cannot believe 
and reincarnation. When I was a kid, I studied uh, Mozart. Mozart was a child prodigy. He was playing the piano and other instruments, super duper early age, like four years old. It's like crazy. But that's not because year one, year two, and year three were rough for him. He came into this world having skills that's having these experiences. And that's what empowered and enabled him to get done what was done. So at the heart of reincarnation, if I define it, I was just say it's the migration of the soul, the migration of the soul from one incarnation to another, period. Now that's the simple definition of past life, okay? Now I wanna expand upon that and get a little bit more complex, but I'm getting complex with you so that when I share the two ways that you can recognize your past life experience, that you're in the mindset to understand it. And that more complex mm, topic is the concept of past lives as separate personalities and gurus. That's right. The concept of past lives being separate personalities of yours. So let's really back a little bit. So God, I am infinite intelligence, source, Gaia, whatever you call the creator of all that is. It started off, it started off with there being like, let's say, a humongous light, big energy. And a part of God was stretched out and put into the universe. And that part of God was you. <laughs> so if you stick with this analogy that I'm telling you about, and you imagine like a humongous ball of light. Kind of like the sun. But let's say that a ray comes out and now you have another smaller ball of God. Just kind of like the ocean, right? If you take a drop of water from the ocean and you check out what it's made out of, it's the same ingredients, the same makeup as the ocean. So now you have the small itty bitty ball, the small energy, and it's you. But let's call that your soul or your oversoul, as some people call it. And from the oversoul, guess what? Boom, you can pull out another light. Boom, another light. Boom, another light. And each one of those lights are different past lives of yours. Each one of those are different personalities of yours. And when you recognize that past lives are also additional personalities of yourself, then that becomes magical. Because that means you can communicate with these past selves of yours too. Now, that's a different way of taking a deeper dive into reincarnation, a different way of looking at past lives, because you're thinking of yourself right now, whoever you are, either you're funny or you're smart or you're quiet, right? Or you talk a lot like me. <laughs> well, whatever it is, me talking a lot, I guarantee you, in my past lives, I was not like this. And whatever you are, you were not like that there either. So the whole concept around past lives and reincarnation is so much more powerful when you recognize that it's really different personalities of yourself and that these different personalities of yourself, you're able to even communicate with them. I have a friend of mine named Bonita and Bonita is able to remember every single one of her past lives. That is crazy. And in one of her past lives, she was a good guy. In another past life, she was a bad guy. <laughs> but she's able to communicate with both in order to learn and apply in this particular life. Okay. So when it comes down to the two ways that you can identify your past lives. It's important for you to understand, I had a spiritual mentor in 2012 that taught me that all of us, all of us have had a certain number of past lives. And this number will blow your mind. You will be like, no, there's no way. There's no way. But I'm telling you, there's unlimited possibilities. There's absolutely a way. The number of past lives that he said that we all had 
was between 600 and 800 past lives. Oh, <laughs> what? That's crazy. 600 to 800 different mamas, different daddies, different genders. That's a lot. And there's also a lot of lives and superpowers that have been gathered. So your ability to tap in to your past life, to at the very least, not just to play it as like a spiritual soap opera, these are the days of our past lives. No, <laughs> but to take it to another level, what use is getting this information if you can't use it to help you pay your rent, your mortgage, to make your love life better, to get some money up in your pocket. And by the way, Hopefully I don't forget, but at the end, I want to show you how you can even figure out how in this life you're either guaranteed to be super rich or not. Let's fake the funk, right? Let's find out. Let's find out in this video. Are you guaranteed to be super? Come on now. All of us in the back of my mind is like, mm, it's still a possibility. For some of us, no, it's not. <laughs> but even if it's not in the cars, in the stars up, up above, there are certain things that you can do about it, but we're going to find out about it. But to keep it real, if you don't have what I'm about to tell you to have based on your past life and based on what you got on right now, it ain't going to happen. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but it's just, I'm trying to give you stuff that's going to be useful, right? So we can move on to some even greater experiences in this life. So with that, dun, 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 the two ways to identify your past life experiences is number one hypnosis hypnosis regression and number two in your palm so i'm going to go over both of those and also both of these techniques are what i use when i do past life regressions with people and pull out that good stuff but i'm going to talk to you and teach you about that right now so in terms of hypnosis and past life regression. That is super duper helpful. When you're able to get into a state, a trance-like state, and go back and get into a place, the void, as I like to call it, the void where there is no time, where there is no space, where in reality, all your past lives are going on at the same time. So when you're able to have an impact, to have a big impact, Right here, right now, you're not only impacting this life, but you're impacting all your other lives. Because really, there is no past lives. There are just other lives, other timelines. Okay? So the first way that you can do it is through hypnosis regression. And if you check the descriptions in this video, I have an app called Legacy Meditations. And there is an app called Time a meditation called time travel in there. And you will be able to move to the different timelines, the different lives that you have led and be able to have a full experience around that, okay? Now, the second way that you can identify your past lives, and I try to give you a hint in the very beginning of the video, when I said it's in, what if everything you wanted to know about past lives was all within your hands? Or what if everything you wanted to know about past lives was all within arm's reach? Well, guess what it is? Your palm. Palm read. You can look at your palms right now and be able to decipher, be able to decipher about your past lives. Now, the cool part about this and what I want you to kind of keep in mind and remember is that your left hand is your past. Your right hand, that's your present. So if you, well, let's keep it in mind too, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, then it's reverse. But most of us are right-handed, okay? So your right hand is your current life and your left hand is your past lives. It's what you brought into this life. And if you look at your hand, okay, I guarantee you, I bet you a wooden nickel, and I haven't met you yet, I haven't been blessed to meet you yet, but I guarantee you, if you look at both your hands right now, the palm of your left hand has more lines in it than the palm of your right. 
the palm of your left hand has more lines, has more marks on it than your right. And that's because you've had more experiences in past lives than just what's going on right here. These lines and indentations, all of that is right there. So when you look at your hand, another thing that lets you know about your uh, past lives when I'm doing my past life regressions with um, the people that I work with is looking at the lines on your hand, your left hand. And do you have bad lines, broken lines, afflicted lines, right? Crooked lines. <laughs> then that says a lot. That means you have some negative karma or bad karma that you have to work through. And by the way, when the lines on your left hand look significantly different than the lines on your right, that explains why some of us are almost like wonderful, perfect human beings. And you're like, oh my God, I'm nice to everyone, everyone. Why don't nice things happen to me? Well, it could be because you're nice in this life, but your last life, you were jacked up. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody like you, not even your mama. It's possible. And all it takes is looking at your hands and you will know. And when you're able to have the past life regression and take a look at it, the reason why it's so important is so we can speed this sucker up. Like even something inside of you drew you, called you to being able to see this video. Something did. And because of that, that means with inside you, you're ready to speed up this process. You're ready to identify what is your superpower that you don't know. It's cool. We all have superpowers, right? Even the people that have the lowest self-esteem, and when we look at them, like, oh, well, they do this really, really well. But what about those things that are within you where you try to learn something new and you pick it up so quickly, it's almost like you didn't learn it, you were remembering it. But it's by accident. You live enough future lives, I guess if we can call it that way, right? You're eventually going to figure that stuff out. Even if you didn't see this video, eventually, it may be this life, it may be two lives from now, but you can do it right now just by us utilizing your left hand in order to take a look. In some upcoming videos, hopefully I'm going to talk on the topic of figuring out what are those superpowers that are within your hand. But for right now, right, when it comes to past life regression, number one, hypnosis regression, where you meditate, you get in a deep trance, either you can do it on your own and use the app that I have, or you can have somebody talk you through like me or anybody else who's skilled at doing this. And then once you get there, you can have those experiences of seeing, feeling, right? Hearing what your past lives were like, but not just staying there, but taking that information, taking it and utilizing it to make a better life in this one. So that's what's up. That's the two ways for you to have your past life regression experiences, either through combination of both, right? Hypnosis, regression, and or looking at your palm, your left hand, whatever is your non-dominant hand, that hand holds the secrets to your past life. So if this video helped you out in any way, or if you need additional information, then please look in the description. Uh, we also have a link if you want to set up to have me do a reading for you, past life regression reading. You can click that link and set it up, or you can download our app, which is also in the description, and you'll be able to get that too. So please, pretty, pretty, please, baby, baby, please, baby, baby, please. Please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to having another video next Sunday. Take care.